Hi, howdy, it's Nikki, and this week I wanted to jump in and talk about something that is very serious, very important to me, very rich, very juicy. That being from the cookies. <laughs> As we finally exit out of spooky season and enter into my <clears throat> favorite season of decreasing pocketbooks and growing waistlines, I thought what better company to dive into the drama, the backstory, and just overall vibe in general other than crumble cookies. Now, if you haven't heard of crumble by now, you're honestly probably living under a rock or you're living in some weird Mandela effect or just don't own a phone because these cookies have literally taken over every stratosphere of the internet at this point. From their minimalistic yet creative design, vast following on pretty much all social media platforms, along with a genius business model, keeping us all anxiously awaiting for the new cookie flavors every week like we're some crazy cookie crack addict, Crumble had a business destined for success but we'll get to that. Today, I wanted to start a new series on the channel of Nikki's Deep Diving Viral Rambles, where I dive into some of the crazy things that have gone viral on the internet while I do what I do best, ramble. I'll talk about the humble or not so humble beginning of certain trends or companies. And in this case, how the unique use of social media marketing rose crumble to fame, which led them to a not-so-crumbling business model. But um, This is gonna be slightly different than my Gabby Hanna and drama rants, a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more put together, if you can say that with me. But I really do love Crumble, and I'm not just talking about my dog. And considering that last month at this point, because I'm really backlogged on making videos, better late than never, was Crumble's birthday, I thought, what better belated time to analyze this business con conglomerate I cannot speak. And hopefully in the process not to ruin yet another thing that I love. Though I think that's pretty much impossible in this case. Anyways, before we dive right into this new series, if you like my face, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because you can join the fan fam when we're trying to hit a thousand followers ASAP, baby! Anyways, let's get sipping, let's get dripping, and let's see how the cookie crumbles. Okay, now at this point, it may seem that Crumble's been at the top of the cookie empire forever, but, however, big ass butt. They actually are fairly new to their little status of fame at the moment. And I have a personal experience remembering them before they were famous, if you could say that about a cookie. It actually took place, story time, day before the panorama shut down. Basically, to put long story short, which is never the case with me, I was at a dance competition, I was in a deep depresso mode, and I started walking around Utah, and I saw this kind of like poppin' cookie joint, and I was like, oh, that's cute, they have pink cookies. But I already got pink cookies from somewhere else, Else, which low-key also is like a really good place. But anyways, I already got my pink cookies, so I was like, mm, I don't need to wait in the line. That's too much hype. I'm already depressed. But I remember hearing everyone being like, oh my god, you should have gone. Crumbles. <laughs> my crumbles making noise. <laughs> Sorry, she is trying to kill my chinchilla. Crumble was telling me to get to the point. I ended up not getting a crumble cookie, but I saw it. I was like, oh, they seem like they're popping. Lo and behold, I read the future. And they pretty much were booming even when they were balling on a budget and were nobodies. And I feel like personally I heard of Crumble like way before it was actually a trend. Like I was ahead of the times because all my friends were Mormon. I'm not Mormon. All my friends were. <laughs> Long story different day. But yeah, all my friends were Mormon, so on their yearly treks to Utah, they would always like tell me about cookies and then never bring me back any. Like, are they really friends? But anyways, yeah, they liked cookies from Crumble in Utah. I heard about it before it was a trend. Should I say this is going to be a ramble or not? I'm sorry, guys. And this Utah origin point kind of makes sense considering that the founders are Mormon themselves and they lived in Logan, Utah, which is where the first store officially opened. The two Cruz and Crumble cousins named Jason and Sawyer in 2017 created their first Crumble cookie location who were on a mission. <laughs> no Mormon pun intended. They were on a different non-church mission of selling some mouth-watering, moistening, is that a word? Did I just make moist even worse? Moistening recipes that they could create for the Mormon and soon to be worldwide population. And they went into this cookie business with a vastly differing business model compared to their other cookie conglomerates. Detail and freshness was everything to these bros. 
or cousins. Just like with Chick-fil-A's My Pleasure or Disneyland's mandatory two-finger pointing. Not a gun. Crumble required that their cookies be made fresh every time, straight out of the oven to the customer's gullet. And I am serious when I say they take this seriously. I mean, I once, fault was mine, mobile ordered at the wrong Crumble cookies location and proceeded to wait for my order for like 45 minutes outside of the place, getting more and more Karen pissed off at that point, only to receive a call saying, hey, where are you? We've been waiting to give you your order for... 45 minutes. So at that point, I felt like an idiot and I was like, oh my God, I'll drive over there. But I was like 30 minutes away from the other crumble and they're like, no, no, no. It's not our policy. We can't give you these cookies anymore. They're not gonna be fresh anymore. We'll just refund you. Which made me even more pissed because then I was like, frick, they didn't have the same cookies that I wanted. They were like out of the ones I ordered at the crumble I was at. I was having a Karen day. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not mad at them. All I'm saying is it pissed me off in the moment. I applaud them for their commitment. Commitment to the cookie cause. Also, another fun fact is they actually designed their iconic pink boxes to perfectly chef's kiss, hold their cookies as snug in a bug in a rug in place, which is just so cute, so iconic. I love that. Do I agree that that stands true all the time? No, but that's okay because they still taste Good. They are basically the Walt Disney of cookie world, with sparing no expense at creating a consistent brand and product. Now to play a little bit of a devil's advocate, sure, that's definitely horns. You could argue that Crumble is no different from all the other cookie joints that have been popping up, that claim that they're fresh and served to quality every time. And to an extent, you would be right. I mean, a lot of cookie joints give you hot cookies. I mean, even freaking. Does Subway do it? I don't know, but they say they do. I don't know, a lot of places give you hot cookies. That's all I'm trying to say. Crumble is easily compared to places like Insomnia, Subway. I really am not a cookie connoisseur. I just am a cookie stand to crumble. So do your cookie research. But yeah, you can easily compare it to lots of other cookies out there. There are so many good cookies. However, what I was trying to get that in that long-winded tangent sentence is that Crumble, unlike these other basic hoes, found two additional outlets for success that these other basic hoes just didn't jump on the bandwagon for when they had the chance. Now, the branding really does run deep with this company, with them literally naming their brand off of their confidence that their cookies are so warm and melt in your mouth good that they will just crumble into pieces after they hit your gooey saliva. That just made something that was supposed to sound so good sound utterly disgusting. Compared to Crumble's vast flavor selection nowadays, Crumble actually only started with their basic classic chocolate chip cookie. While their classic homemade flavors may have won over the audience in the Utah Mormon community, it's safe to say that they know how to create an audience. One cookie flavor already warranted them like three separate storefronts in Utah. They know, they know, they know how to make a basic cookie. But again, so does many other places. What sets Crumble apart is their constant innovation in the cookie game with new continuous flavors on a continuous weekly basis. Like Walt Disney said about Disneyland never being complete, Crumble Cookies menu is under that same rule. Sure, some places have like seasonal flavors with their pumpkin spices and Christmas with their peppermints, but from Crumble's blueberry cobbler to a literal waffle crumble cookie hybrid, Crumble isn't afraid to jump over the line and try anything. Now some other flavors have been a hit or miss. One thing is for sure, these flavors keep the public invested. I mean every Monday morning it's almost like a ritual for me to literally wake up and check the weekly crumble cookie lineup on my app. Unlike the other cookie places, it's the same story time and time again. Sure, Insomnia may have a bomb ass chocolate chip cookie. Sure, McDonald's may be popping with their chocolate chip. Sure, Subway may have some white chocolate macadamia that is white chocolate exploding my mind hole. But that doesn't matter. Audiences get bored of the same shiz. But in contrast, Crumble saw this flaw and Thanos snapped that problem right out of existence. Over the past like year and a half alone, Crumble has accumulated over 120 plus different cookie flavors. For a while, I got a little bit concerned about the longevity of their business model since there truly are only so many flavors. But it seems as of right now, we aren't at the Crayola stages of like, 
magenta pink hybrid number 15. They seem like they're doing okay, at least for the moment. Once they start mixing stuff like waffles and chili peppers, that's when I'll start saying no. Crumble, you're canceled. And on top of all of that, with all these crazy new flavors, these cookies are on trend with the nowadays ever-growing population of Instagrammable foods that are almost too pretty to eat. Almost. It's safe to say though, if you're watching this video, you already knew that Crumble had some pop and cookies. You already knew they had the good goods, and there is no doubt that their recipe was baked for success. But where the real success lies is with a different type of cookies. A cookie company is taking TikTok by storm. Yes, sir. So we're gonna eat these cookies. Are exploding on social media. Millions of views. We call it the great TikTok boom of 2021. Anyways, Crumble, if you did not know, again, I don't know if you're living in the Mandela effect or what, but Crumble's taken over the internet. Crumble may have looked like your cute little run-of-the-mill neighborhood business in Utah. Serving up those BYU college students and middle-aged housewives, but Jason and Sawyer knew better. They formatted these sweet treats to not only strive on social media, but dominate it. I mean, over quarantine alone, Crumble went from small cult following in Utah in 2020 to over 1 million followers on Instagram and TikTok and 250 stores in 30 states. All of this success was made possible by not only their delicious and bomb.com recipe, but Crumble's genius marketing strategies when it comes to social media. From the get-go, Crumble already had a massive leg up in the marketing department, with both of their founders both being heavily involved in the tech world, and them literally designing their business to strive in the digital age. With an easy accessible app, Crumble was already miles ahead on trend with the times. They had such a strong understanding of how powerful social media and tech can be towards a successful business, and with that, Crumble was able to stay interactive and growing on all of these social platforms through its beginnings. And again, compared to the other cookie brands that Crumble's competing with, Crumble was significantly ahead of the game. With Insomnia just really starting to get into the social media game, and other ones like Subway not even promoting their cookies, sorry. There's lots of cookie companies, and I feel like Crumble was the first of their kind to really utilize the mobile ordering, the social media following, brand promotion on TikTok, Instagram, and everywhere, because literally they are everywhere. Anyways, back to my point. While for most of us, 2020 was a year of depression and isolation, for Crumble, this year transformed them into the cookie overlords we see as today. This overnight success though would not have been possible without the strong foundation that the founders really just laid for themselves. However, but, Big ass butt. The power of influencers in particular, especially on TikTok, is what I believe ended up stirring up and spiraling into the massive amount of hype that surrounds Crumble Cookies today. With Crumble being its own little mini phenomenon during quarantine, gaining billions of dollars and millions of followers, and creating overnight careers for people on TikTok reviewing their cookies, whether that be reviewing the cookies, dissing the cookies, trying to recreate the cookies, these cookies created a phenomenon on TikTok while also getting hyped and promoting the new cookies that were coming out week after week. Crumble was getting all the influencer publicity they could have ever asked for. All the glowing reviews, all the amazing product recommendations for absolutely free. And even though their whole weekly cookie trade outs and just different branding tactics in general are to some extent unintentional, it was still genius. Because at the end of the day, I don't know about you, but I am significantly more likely to trust a product review from some random reviewing this week's weekly cookie compared to a million follower influencer who's getting paid like six figures to review a cookie that they're not even gonna eat. And on top of all that, I just wanted to mention this because I think it is like a really cool thing that even with all the success that Crumble has acclaimed, they have stayed really humble in their ways. Of course, I'm sure their marketing team is like hundreds of people at this point, but even today, if you even have like thousand, if you have a hundred followers and you tag Crumble, they will still, in most cases, comment on your post or be like, oh, thanks for the love, thanks for the cookie love. It's like, it feels like it's still a family. I don't know if that's like the Mormonism coming out of their company motto. I don't know. But I just think it's really cool that they do still try to connect with all of their loyal subjects. Anyways, that's what brings us to today. Sorry for the history channel length documentary on crumble cookies, but this is Nikki's deep dive in rambles. So you get what you signed up for. Why not finish this crumble cookie video off in a fun, most Nikki way possible. That being 
the memes. So without any prior research at all, like most of what I say, I'm going to react to the first TikToks that come up on my page when I put in the hashtag crumble cookies. Let's see. First one. Oh my God. Wait. Okay, my mind is blown. I can own a crumble cookies. I I did not know. I mean, of course you have to pay probably a good amount of money to do it. But like, do I want to buy a crumble cookies? Next TikTok. My mom just sent me her review of crumble cookies. Hey guys, it's Carolyn. Welcome back to my Snapchat. Page. Okay, we went to crumble influencer. Cookies and we're box. Are you ready to see what we got? <laughs> so let's oh unbox this thing. I love it, your mom. <laughs> what we got? We've got sugar cookie. Chocolate chip, Solid. peach yes. cobbler, and oh my god, it's birthday cake! No, get peach cobbler out of here, I hate pie. <laughs> Disgusting! Her mom's like too energetic for my personality right now, and I can't. It's like overstimulating me. Oh my god, this is like the best thing I've ever had. Mm. Wow. Her mom looks at the viewfinder, honestly, still less than me. Okay, this one looks disgusting. It looks like the gray stuff just shit out onto a cookie. Bye. I actually, Bye. Bye. that is Bye. the definition of expectations versus reality. Me trying to look cute for a video versus what you get in said video. Oh my God. Nope. Okay. Next one. Oh my God. I love video. I don't even know if I can play this music. If I can't, voiceover, here you come. I love looking at food that I won't eat because I have eating anxiety. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was satisfying to my soul. I am not an ASMR queen. I am a cookie dough queef. I'll go into bed and never come out. Okay, that was Crumble Cookies. That was Nikki's first viral deep dive rambles. You got the rambles. You got the deep dive. You got the viral. I hope that made you hungry for some Crumble Cookies because God knows I am and I can't even get them because it's freaking Sunday and they're closed, but it's fine. If you like my face, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because you can join the fam bam. We're trying to hit a thousand followers ASAP. Anyways, it's been Nikki. It's been cool. I'm bad at talking and